In the scorching sands of ancient Egypt, nearly 3,000 years ago, a remarkable woman named Tabir lived along the bustling banks of the Nile. Unlike many of her peers, Tabira faced a unique challenge, she had lost her right big toe in a tragic accident while harvesting papyrus. Life in ancient Egypt required much walking, and without her toe, each step brought pain and imbalance. Her family, deeply concerned, sought the help of an ingenious artisan renowned for his skill in crafting objects from wood and leather. The artisan, named Kemet, had spent years observing the mechanics of human movement. He believed that the loss of a toe need not be the end of a normal life. Drawing inspiration from the natural shapes of reeds and the flexibility of animal leather, he meticulously carved a wooden toe and wrapped it in soft leather to prevent chafing. Kemet then carefully attached this prosthetic to Tabira's foot with an adjustable leather strap, ensuring it would remain secure during her daily routines. As Tabira took her first steps with the new toe, she marveled at how natural it felt. Gone was the awkward limp that had marked her presence in the marketplace, in its place was a confident stride that allowed her to rejoin her community's activities. The invention quickly caught the attention of local healers and even priests, who saw in it not only a practical solution but a symbol of resilience and innovation among their people. This extraordinary device, now known as the Cairo Doe, stands as evidence of the advanced medical knowledge and creativity possessed by ancient African civilizations. Tabira's story, though little told, reveals that black inventors in ancient Egypt were pioneers in orthopedic technology, helping their people lead fuller lives long before such inventions were known elsewhere in the world.